Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk Some More. Here we have a story from Ireland. But like with many things happening around the world at the moment, this could really apply anywhere at the moment with what is going on. So here we have a clip of a member of the Irish Parliament, Matty McGrath, telling the Taoiseach in a Dáil, the Houses of Parliament for Ireland, that he believes they are now living in a totalitarian state and made comparisons to the Third Reich. Here's the clip. Yeah, I've been contacted by taxis from Tipperary who were coming tomorrow in their cars. They have been wiped out with the pandemic and it might be an unusual step at Cancora for us to raise this year, but it's unusual times. And we're living in a totally totalitarian state that we can't have any protest safely in cars. I mean, this is unbelievable. We saw what happened in Longford at the weekend in a church. Disgraceful. And we're going back to Nazi uh, Hitler's time. What the hell is going on here? And we need to pull up Drew Harris. He's our uh, Gada, uh, Gada um, boss man. But I don't like the antics that have been, uh, uh, and I support the Gada always, but this is driving people away from supporting the Gada and we need a debate on it here. Apparently after this was said, the Taoiseach asked him to retract his statement, but this man, he refused to do so. And why should he? What kind of government locks you down for nearly a year, putting thousands of small and medium-sized businesses out of business and has members of the government like Leo Veruca threatening the public with not allowing them to participate in society unless they get the jib jab. I mean, he said there recently, he expects people may change their minds about getting the jab if it is tied to their ability to travel and attend large gatherings, he said. Basically saying, oh, you will change your mind when we stop you going anywhere. I mean, what else is that but a threat? What, what kind of government does that? A bad one. And it seems all of the governments are doing something like that at the moment. Now, this is specifically Ireland, but we have to remember this is happening everywhere. These reactions and these comparisons and the mentioning of police states, totalitarian states are being mentioned everywhere. And by the looks of it, to different degrees, it's being implemented slowly everywhere. Now, Ireland are still in full lockdown, the longest, hardest lockdown of all the countries. And from what I hear, okay, from what I've been told in emails from many Irish people, no offence now, but this is what I'm getting. They are saying Ireland is the most asleep. That's what I'm being told. Being fed a constant daily diet of RTE, Ireland's version of the propaganda BBC, and the people of Ireland are sleepwalking into a digital trap of passports and 24-7 surveillance. And if you want to know more about that, check out my earlier videos about the dark future of health passports. So if you're in Ireland, share these videos to your friends. Get the information out there and share videos from other Irish commentators like Dave Cullen uh, from Computing Forever, John Walters, Ivor Cummins, etc. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, looking to create a community of like-minded souls, and I'll see you later.